Welcome to Excel Business Math video number 24. Hey, we're in the workbook Business Math chapter 3. You can go to my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download this workbook. If you're enrolled in the class, just go to our chapter 3 website. Hey, in this video, I just want to show you how to build a fraction and percent equivalent table. This is really good for people that have to always convert back and forth at their desk or something. So you can build a little table like this and print it out. Here's the formula I used for all of these. Then they're formatted as a fraction, formatted as a decimal, and formatted as a percent. We can see some pretty common ones here. After a while, when you're dealing with these all the time, you, you know that 1 divided by 100 is 1%. 1 divided by 50 is 2%. 1 divided by 25 is 4, etc. Even uh, some other ones like 1 eighth is 12.5%. 3 fourths is 75%. So let's see how to do this. Again, I put all these common fractions, uh, a couple hundredths and fifties and twenty-fives, but most of the rest are tenths and sixteenths, uh, fourths, etc. But you can look through all of these. Here they are down here. And I'm going to try formatting these and see what happens. Now, uh, last chapter we talked about fractions, but I'm going to highlight this whole column. I'm going to click on the top and control shift down arrow. That's a quick way to highlight the whole column all the way down. It's called highlight current region down. I'm going to control one. And by the way, these, uh, these are all the formulas exactly how I showed you up there. Control one. And we're going to go down to fraction. And I want to just see what happens. None of the numerators and none of the denominators that we typed in have greater than three digits. So I want to see if we can just get away with using this one formatting, and it will work for all of them. The key is you have to go check, because um, sometimes it, they might reduce or round, and you might get something you don't want. But I, I think this one will work for basically everything. We can already see visually we have 1 and a, one divided by 100, 1 divided by 50, because there's the formatting has three question marks in the denominator and three question marks in the numerator, as we saw extensively last chapter. But as we're looking through these, you can check the formula against uh, the formatted number, and they all come out just fine. Now, maybe you don't want them centered like that. That format actually uh, gives enough room so there's uh, three digits in the denominator and numerator, but it looks like every single one of them uh, came out just fine. And I checked all these, and uh, even these ones down here came out fine, these mixed numbers. Now, how do we do uh, decimals? Well, you just convert it to general. Uh, and um, the whole column, control 1, and it's just general. So you can always get back to this. So that one's easy. Now, the percentages, I'm going to click on the top one, control shift down arrow, control 1 and click percentage. Now I'm going to start with 2%. That's fine. Maybe on some of them I want to go more, 8.33%. But that uh, looks just fine. So just like that, you have uh, a good little table you can print out and, and have on your uh, desk wall when you need to convert quickly. And it's it's easy. Once you type these in, but by the way, these I just copied over because that's a, a hard-coded formula. Now let me show you a little bit of trouble here um, with fractions. Um, right here we have, I'm going to type in these equals 5 divided by 43 equals 1 divided by 9 equals 5 divided by 43. I'm doing that again. Oh, that's OK, 43. And then equals 5 divided by uh, 5 divided by 40. Let's just see what happens. These are decimals. If we apply the wrong fractional formatting, Control-1, I'm going to go down to Fraction. Oh, that's the default. You're like, oh, yeah, that's OK. So you click that. They all come out. These all come out to uh, 1 ninth. Well, as we know from the decimals equals, well, you can also see 5 divided by, uh, well, let's do it 5 divided by 43 and equals 1 divided by 9. They're different numbers. But here it is, formatting makes it look like they're the same. Now, if you do calculations based on these, this 1 ninth is not used in the calculation. As we saw in chapter 1 and 2, that rounding, uh, I mean, formatting really messes you up 
uh, often. In chapters one and two, we saw how to use the round to get away from the problem of formatting messing us up when we're doing money. But here we're talking about fractions. Don't let that mess you up. Now, um, we saw over here when we did this, if we use the um, three in the numerator, three in the denominator for our fraction, control one then we avoid that problem completely. It, it has some spacing, and maybe you don't like that. So, you, But for our whole column, that one built-in format worked just fine. All right, that's a little bit about uh, fractional percent equivalents. Uh, we'll see you next video.